don't know if we're ever gonna get a film today. Yeah. Come on, girl, you can do this. I've already gotten the question, so I'll just go ahead and answer it. So I'm gonna take a wild guess and say that this corn will definitely not be knee high by the 4th of July. This is maybe not the most fun thing we've done in a while, is it? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. They're hard to get up. Sweet potatoes are our friend. Okay, Strong Walker. Let's get you back on there. Come on, Dirty. easier than undoing belts, chains, or whatever you call them. It's down as far as it'll go. It's hung up. Can you crawl up through the whole line and get the goes out of way? Well, it came out, but we can't quite figure out how to get it back in. Here's the inside of the combine. <laughs> up close and personal. <laughs> yeah. You have to pick it. Well, if it don't make no difference, picking it up ain't gonna do no good. You see your bolt holes in the in yeah. it. Good job, buddy. Whew. I'm glad you fit places that we don't. <laughs> <laughs> no. Gussie, Gussie with the kind eyes. Sweet boy. Yes, you are. And of course, Bonnie. Bonnie's sweet too. To say it feels good in the shade, Ma. You know how one thing leads to another thing leads to another thing? That's where we're at. Now we're like straightening. I don't know. We're doing stuff. And I need some needle nose pliers, which I just saw in here the other day. And now I'm not gonna be able to find. <laughs> Got him. This is a chafer, chafer. That's what it is. I'm trying to get these little tines turned back the way they're supposed to be. Some of them are all sorts. It's been angled the wrong way, bent. I can't get, I can't. Okay, we're gonna do a check and make sure everything's working. Whatever that long thing was, was hitting the other ones, and now it's being moved out. I don't know if we're ever going to get a film today.
to truck shuffling. Well, yeah. No, 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 the truck's still there from last night. That's right, just going to get Gertie. Oh, hope and pray that she does not break down this afternoon. We can be done in two hours. We can be done in two hours if she'll just pull through. Said he feels better having the um, chafer, chaffer, chafer, chaffer, whatever you call it, having that moved and cleaned out though. So at least that's done. And uh, hopefully, hopefully everything works. Here we go, kids. So close, y'all. So, so close. <laughs> Come on, girl. You can do this. I really, oh, I really think that's it, y'all. It's not going to be as much as we thought either. Didn't take as long as we thought either. And she didn't break down either. Woohoo! Happy day! Y'all, my truck thermometer was just registering 101. Granted, it's sitting right in the sun, but it is hot. I had the air running for a while and I turned it off and rolled the windows down, but wowzer, she's warm. About it. Get every last little piece of barley out of there. <laughs> All right, dinosaur head, time to go back the side. To cut a little piece of rye for our neighbor our neighbor friend Jim the one that helps us out a lot gives me lots of vegetables super nice guy so he's going to cut that then we're taking Gertie home I'll bring him back to get that truck and it looks like we're gonna be done early today Wow better ending today. Here's that little patch. And Jim's out there plowing his back up. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is burly tobacco. He raises burly. Not flute cured. It's getting breezy. Blowing her off. <laughs> I'm gonna get upwind. I just blew all of that. Anyway, I just couldn't show you because I was blowing. When I blew outside, a lot of it went inside. Oh boy. And I, uh, I shot back. Doesn't suck very well. So it actually, yeah. <laughs> anyway. Ah. It's so hot in there, he's literally driven wet. Uh, 
parked right in the way of that. <laughs> One final blow. This heat ain't no joke today. This heat isn't any joke today. However you say it, it's hot. One final shake off. <laughs> Got a little warm in there, didn't you, babe? Bless your heart. Oh, yeah, she put it clean on the little hand. She makes it look clean. Well, that's done. It does feel good. It's done, babe. She made it. You feel good? Yeah, we just had all the hay cut this week to be on right now. Oh, already thinking about all the other things. Well, at least that got done. It's See, done. It's gonna be raining next week. Well. Ten feet high. We can only do what we can only do. We can only do what we can do. We need to get the corn planted if we want to plant it. We got two before. Just noticed. I noticed you've got your first uh, blowout. Your arm. Yeah. For the year. Oh, it's, it's summer. Long. It's summertime, y'all. We have a lot more followers here than we had last summertime, and I've already gotten the question, so I'll just go ahead and answer it for the summer. Yes, this is what he wears every day. It's what he chooses to wear. Somebody said that I needed to buy you some short sleeve shirts. No. Nah. He says it keeps him cool, or -er. so. You know, to each their own. Here we go, last load out. <laughs> and a truck with no AC. <laughs> oh. He's gonna be ready to sit down inside, I think. He just asked me what time it was. So I said, 4.30. He said, what are we gonna do the rest of the day? <laughs> I'm going to pick up our daughter who's been in a friend's and then some supper I'm actually thinking about cheating and getting buying pizza tonight I'm tired uh, yeah we'll see anyway I'm glad that this is done and we can move on to the other things which you saw he started listing them off we need to cut hay we just don't need to work cows calves cows and calves uh, oh so much stuff needs to be bush hogged Need to plant some more corn. Don't worry, y'all. It's not going to get really quiet around here for a while. Plenty of stuff to do. Just in time for the heart of summer, which is not my favorite. I love fall. I don't love cold, cold weather, but I like it more than I do July and August in North Carolina. It's not my favorite. But it is what it is. And we make it through every year. Turns out we didn't even need that gravity body that we put on that trailer. Womp womp. He just backed the big red up. And now he'll back old blue in. That's what I'm gonna call her. Gray? Old gray, the old gray, the old gray mare. I'm sorry, y'all, I'm just making stuff up. That'll do, that'll do, pig, that'll do. He's killing himself. He just tooted. Don't you get a kick out of that? No, I don't. It scares, <laughs> scares me to death. I was walking away and he blew that horn <laughs> and I jumped out of my skin. I, I was saying we got, we did all that work getting that gravity body and you didn't even need well, it. Well, I guess it, it'll stay there for now for a little while. Yeah. That little ha that little trailer comes in handy for a lot It'd of things. Good though. Soybeans. Oh. See, we feel, we feel the gravity body, both trucks and the trailer. We have a truck trailer load at least if we're making a soybean. So we call all the ifs. Call Kevin, then send the truck. <laughs> he just said, 
He just said, Old Glory made it. Yes, she did. So glad she did. All right. Let's, let's go. What was it? Look right there where they're in eat them down. After our little crop check this morning, he decided that the beans need spraying, so that's what we're going to do. Got to park this trailer, unhook it, and then I'll use that truck to take the tank of water to the field. got to get that out of there. All it had left over and it was a little bit of Roundup and it was already, it was starting to coagulate a little bit. Not good. So here's hoping it doesn't get stopped up. He can at least get that, that tank out. I don't know. It doesn't look like it's going to pour down, but you never know. So this is loading, filling. When it gets done, I'll take it down there. Heading to the field. I, uh, I let it uh, overflow a little bit. I was in the house. That might not go over very well. Back of the truck is pretty wet. So there's a saying, a watch pot never boils. A watch water tank never flows over. But an unwatched one does. Made it. I'm going to hang out here. It's a little, it's a little stuffy in there. <laughs> All right. He thinks that's going to be enough, but I'm going to wait a little while just to make sure he doesn't need another 100 gallons or so. The sun is not out, but it is sticky. Sticky. The problem is there's no air moving down here. Air, air, there's no air flow down in this river bottom. So these beans, you know, to have been flooded, they're doing okay, I reckon. It is really humid. I've already said that, I'm sweating. I'm sweating so bad. I'm not even working. I don't mind sweating if I'm working. But just standing here with it rolling off of me is gross. And we have tailgate issues on our farm. This one is broken. He just puts his finger up there and does this little thing and it opens and he tried to show me, but I can't, I can't make it work. And I just want it to come down so I can sit down. I'm complaining a lot today. I did it. I did it. I figured it out, y'all. Okay. Mm. So he's standing and sweating. I'll sit and sweat. I just got the word. Thunderbird, I can go home now. Woo! It really looks 
like it might rain and I really need to mow some grass at home and at Papa's right there. We have jungles. Okay. Ooh, that was close. I want to hit the truck. He went this morning to buy some more corn. He's going to plant corn where we just cut barley. Get that in the ground. Yes. <laughs> he said this morning, I know it's very late to be planting corn, but his hope is that it will uh, make silage. So silage corn, if the river doesn't get it again. So here's open. Um, I think my son is helping him do something with the corn planter. He needed somebody small that could get up under it. Wesley comes in handy for such things. So I'm gonna see what's going on, how I can help. What do you think about that grease gun, Wes? It's pretty cool, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, oh man. I know you're hot. You're not? Wesley, I'm turn it back a little more. Unhook the cedar so we can hook up the planter. Yeah. Right, Clara? <laughs> I'm looking for a rat. There's got to be one here somewhere. Okay. Let me pull out there. Change the drawbar. This is the biggest pain. The drawbar has to be flipped every time we switch from the cedar to the planter back to the cedar to the planter. <sighs> Runs the cables in that little hole and then it'll stop it up with this phone stuff. Snug as a bug, tight as a tick. What else can we say? <laughs> there we go. Now, hook up the hydraulics. Should be rinsed to go. It's at the back, gonna push the cylinder out. Mm -hmm. The other one's gonna pull it back in. Wait, this one pushes? Mm -hmm. That's right. That's then that one right. goes on the left. Yeah, this one goes on the left, that one goes on the right. Okay, I had it backwards. Push on the left, pull on the right. Hmm. Put it in there and then push it. Good job. I'll figure it out, aren't we, Bonnie? Well, the corn's in. I didn't get a good picture of it. It's so pretty. All right. And he's off. Let's go check on him in a little bit. Well, he's parked. Must have had to adjust some settings. Hopefully that's all. He got back out. <laughs> Maybe you just seen how deep it's gone. But yeah, he's getting his knife, I believe. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm driving backwards, y'all. <laughs> Videoing, driving backwards. Skills right here. <laughs> so 
I'm going to take a wild guess and say that this corn will definitely not be knee high by the 4th of July. <laughs> oh, I cracked myself up. Kids and I are going back to the uh, other barley field. He's starting at the first one that he cut and then he's going to the second one. Um, but there's this big patch of that mullein weeds. I think I showed that. We are going to try to extract them, i.e. dig them up. So that'll be fun. And here we are. Let's see if we can get these knocked down. This is maybe not the most fun thing we've done in a while, is it? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. They're hard to get up. We did it. We did it. That was hard work, wasn't it? Hard work's good for you. And a shower's going to be good. I'm very itchy. Me too. Uh, you probably shouldn't have worn shorts. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. We got a truck bed full. Mm -hmm. Woo! Oh, I almost took the axe. All right. Okay, y'all. I'm in my kitchen. Uh, after that traits through the mullein weeds, I had, I had to clean up. I felt like I was on fire. <laughs> I really felt like I was on fire. So anyway, um, I did that and now I'm working on a recipe that is going to be in conjunction with the North Carolina Sweet Potato Commission. Remember when I made sweet potato pie several weeks ago? Well, today I'm making something different, something very summery, something very Southern. Yeah. Any guesses? Okay, I'm just gonna tell you. We are making sweet potato, potato salad. Sweet potato salad. Sweet potato salad with bacon and eggs and parsley and onion and mustard and honey and mayonnaise and lemon juice and salt and pepper. That's all the things. So, this recipe will be in its entirety on my cooking channel. Yes, did you know I have a cooking channel? I do. This farm wife cooks, yeah. Well, this is very original. Um, so this recipe will be there. Yeah, I'm gonna link it here because it should be up before this video goes up. <laughs> if not, you can go to This Farm Wife Cooks on YouTube or you can go to my website, thisfarmwife.com for the recipe. Thank you to the North Carolina Sweet Potato Commission for sponsoring these videos for me and allowing me to come up with some different ways to use sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes are our friend. They are a huge deal in North Carolina. Uh, we raise a lot of sweet potatoes in this state. Uh, in fact, there's a really good chance that if you buy a sweet potato in the grocery store, it was raised and grown and harvested in sweet North Kakalaki. Yeah. So anyway, that's what we're doing. Head over there to watch the recipe and the video and then try it yourself and let me know what you think. Okay, deal? Okay, y'all, I did something yesterday. I bought myself something, something that I haven't had that worked in over a year. If you've been around a while, you remember I actually used to grill things. I would grill hamburgers. I would even grill a steak every now and then. Yes, I would, but my grill was broke. And a lot of y'all had a lot of good suggestions and I bought a new burner and it didn't work and it cost me $60 and Lawrence got frustrated and I couldn't return it. So I said, forget it. I'm just going to buy a new grill. So that's what I did. Yesterday I went to Lowe's and I bought the cheapest gas grill they had. It was on sale, $149.99. I was planning to spend like $100. I just wanted something cheap. Whatever. We're going to get our $149.99 worth out of this, I hope. Yeah, look. 
like it's so shiny. I know a lot of y'all out there. I have friends who have all these fancy grills. These, this grill, what is it? A Traeger, Jaeger, something. Anyway, this is what we got. Charbroil. Everything is pretty easy to deal with. He said it'll be easy to. He said he could even make these if he had to. <laughs> so anyway, it's all hooked up and it's ready to go. Yeah, I can't light it. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can. I can light it like this. Look at there. Cooking with gas. Oh, wait. Right? Well, I thought we were. Oh, you know what? You know what you got to do first? Whoops. <laughs> Helps if you turn the gas on. Okay, take two. Now, now we're rolling. <laughs> so excited. So, tonight I'm cooking hamburgers. I'm cooking burgers to go with that sweet potato salad that I made that you're going to go check out, right? And you're going to try because it's delicious. Trust me. Trust me. It's amazing. Okay. Let that heat up. I really am excited again. I really am excited to be able to do this again. There you have it, y'all. The moment a brand new shiny grill is being indoctrinated by some good old beef. It's a good day. It's a good day to be alive. And we have burgers and a very dirty grill that I will clean after it cools. Mm. Yep.